Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to go over how to refill 275 and 276 cartridges. We're going to use a set of starter cartridges coming with a printer. However, the same procedure applies to regular 275, 276, as well as 275 XL and 276 XL. I'll show you that you can refill all of those cartridges many, many times without buying new ones. If you want to know how to set up this printer with your phone, check my other video. So we start with a set of new cartridges, and we're just trying to use up the ink. By the way, this method applies to all the printers that use 275 and 276 cartridges. I just use this printer TS3520 as example. If you have other mo printer models that use 275 and 276 cartridges, just do the exact same thing as I'm doing here. Your starter cartridge can print about uh, 50 to 60 pages. However, Canon doesn't have any sensors that can measure how much ink in the cartridge. How did Canon know how much ink in the cartridge? You can say I print 40 pages and the Canon says you're low on ink. It seems, it seems pretty accurate. The answer is uh, simple. Canon just count how many pages you printed. So if uh, they have a preset value of 50 and uh, you print 40 pages, it will say, oh, low ink, you only get 20% left. And it shows this low ink warning, which is a uh, steady amber light. You can see the light is not blinking at all. Other than the amber light, you're going to see an uh, exclusion mark next to your ink level on the ink monitor. I'll show you how to turn off the ink monitoring later in this video. We'll use this BCH EZ30S. The black thing is called a priming clip. Then we have four inks, a 10 ml syringe for the priming clip, some toothpicks for your personal hygiene, a hand drill, and two rubber pads for the priming clip. EZ30 should be your first kit if you just start refilling. However, we're also going to cover another kit, which is ID30 KCMY. ID30 KCMY doesn't have this, this part of the kit, so it's only the ink and the drill. You're going to say it's not absolutely critical to have a priming kit if you know how to prime. Okay, let's do it. At first, we peel off the label. Because this is a regular black cartridge, you're going to see uh, there's a big indent, or like a big cells of uh, plastic go underneath. If you have XL version, and uh, you won't see this, uh, the XL version top look like just flat. Uh, I'll show you what the color, it look like a color one, so I'll show you the color one later. The reason you have this uh, weird uh, cells uh, is because the regular ones have smaller car, smaller sponge, and uh, the XL have a bigger sponge. And those cells, it just push the sponge down. On the top of the cartridge, there should be a tiny air hole. Let me find it. It's the fifth cell. If you look inside, there's a tiny hole. Uh, you shouldn't block that hole. If you block that hole, the the inside of cartridge will have a vacuum when you print. You can drill pretty much anywhere inside of those cells. Uh, I'm just randomly select a cell to drill. And uh, the thing is, if you drill on the cell has the air hole, make sure you don't block the air hole after you drill. Be careful, as, as soon as you lower the needle, the ink will start flowing. And uh, so you don't need to push the needle all the way to the bottom, not at all. Just rest the needle on the top and lift it up a little bit so you can gently squeeze the ink. So you drip the ink inside, not like squirt it out. You can gently press it uh, 7 to 10 times or until you can see the ink coming out. You do not need to seal the drill after you're done. You can just leave it open. However, if you really want to seal it, make sure to not seal the air hole, which is on my left side. And for the color one, 
you can easily see three air holes, one for each color. Uh, by the way, the uh, black XL going to look like this. It's going to be flat on the top. And you're going to see one air hole in the middle for the black. Again, for the black, you don't want to drill on the air hole. But for the color, I'm just going to drill right exactly where the air hole is. Look at those nice holes. We're going to use a toothpick to poke in and see what color of ink is in there. So right on top and uh, blue on the left. Uh, yellow goes to the right. Again, as soon as you put the needle vertical, the ink is going to start flowing. So you can see if you do it this way, it's going to make a mess. Instead, tilt the needle a little bit or put the, both of them just horizontally and then move to vertical position. The ink starts flowing and uh, gently squeeze the bottle about three to five times. One, two, three, four, five. Again, you're not squirting it, just uh, squeeze it to help it flowing out. I'll show you one more time with uh, the blue ink. After refill, I'll say just leave as, as is. Uh, don't seal the hole. However, I know there are lots of people that want to put a piece of tape like this. If you put a piece of tape to seal the hole, uh, next thing you need to do is uh, uh, just poke a pinhole on each of the air where the air hole was. On the bottom of the cartridge, there's a ink box that collects the ink and supply to the nozzles. To fill that ink box, we call it priming. We have two paths. Well, you can see the one of the slit is longer, one is shorter. The shorter one is for the color. We put a pad on and uh, Put over recently refilled color cartridge. We kind of align in the middle and uh, we give, give a downward and forward push. And uh, you're going to hear a click and uh, this thing going to fit in. We're going to draw some uh, air from the bottom. If you see the, the ink flowing out like this and you can stop. If the ink doesn't flow out, make sure you have a good section. Just uh, wiggle the uh, just wiggle the cartridge a little bit, make sure you get a good section. So for people who bought a kit without the priming kit, what you can do is uh, get a house vacuum cleaner and uh, use the vacuum hose. You wrap the uh, cartridge around. Okay, we're going to do the black one with uh, the, the house vacuum. So uh, wrap, the, uh, wrap the black one and uh, then we just suck underneath and uh, suck it a couple times until you can see the ink coming out. No matter how you do it, make sure to use a paper towel to clean the bottom of the cartridge before you insert. Normally, if you do not let the ink box running empty, you do not need a prime. Just after the refill, monitor your printout for a couple pages and uh, make sure you get a CO4 colors. Here you can see the color look weird after a couple pages. Print a nozzle check and we found that there's no yellow. We'll give another prime. A quick way to check is uh, have a wet paper towel and you dab the print head on the paper towel. If you see all three colors, normally the problem is fixed. So you don't have to reinsert the cartridge and put in another nozzle check each time you prime. Okay, you can see all three colors. And this will allow you quickly to see if your prime is good or not. Okay, back to business. I'll put a copy here so you can compare before and after the prime. So we got two cartridges full of ink. So what do you think a computer is going to think how much ink in the cartridge? See the ink light is still st steady amber. That means low on ink. This is because the printer's ink monitor is totally inaccurate. It only remembers how many pages, pages you printed. Your ink monitor on the computer or phone will look like this and has a yellow exclamation mark uh, next to the cartridge. 
Whenever you print, you have a little pop-up say, "Hey, your cartridge, your cartridge is low on ink." So it turned out the ink monitor is just a basic page counter. It's not useful at all. So why why not we just turn it off? Actually, you cannot turn off right now. You had to wait for a special moment. Just use your refill cartridge as as normal. Use until the printer reached the maximum pages allowed for this cartridge. Many pages later, you can have this error window one six eight eight. It says the ink has run out. Do not close the pop-up window. Let's walk over to the printer. You can see the printer is flashing the yellow ink, and trying to say E one six. And this is your magic moment. Press and hold down that triangle button. Press it until you hear a click. Almost there. Done. If you close your window、uh, before this, and、uh, you what you can do is、uh, just send another page to the printer, and、uh, the errors gonna come up, and、uh, you can experience your magic moment again. After that, the color ink light gonna be blinking. That means the color cartridge's ink monitor has been turned off.、Uh, if you see your phone or computer, you could not see the the exclamation mark、uh, next to the color cartridge is off, and now the、uh, ink monitor is all white out, is grayed out. You don't need a machine to tell you how many pages you printed. So what I do is get a stack paper and stick a note in the、uh, in in there, so I know how many pages I printed. I normally、uh, do a quarter of the rim, so it's about one twenty-five, one fifty pages, and、uh, then I move my note up and down, and、uh, to tell me when I need to refill. You should refill often. Before the ink box get dry, but let me run over my limit and just make sure we get a dried ink box. You can see the black stars、uh, missing or making stripes. Just a couple pages before, it looked perfect. So the black ink is totally dried out. Don't worry, it's not the end of the world. So I would normally I take all the cartridge out, both cartridge out, and refill all the colors. I speed up、uh, this video, but、uh, it totally take me four minutes to refill everything and prime and、uh, insert back to the printer. So think how long it takes you to order it online, how long you gonna wait, or you drive to the store and buy a new set of cartridge. As a starter, I expect you to be able to refill this set of cartridge five times. And as time went down, you get more experienced. Avoid to get a cartridge dried out. I expect, I expect you, as good as me, refill it twenty or more times. Hello, mortals. Your printer is saved. Kevin's YouTube channel is the answer to your prayers.